last week I was holding my great grandchild and I was standing and kind of rocking him and I was saying, Gideon, I love you so much. Oh, Gideon, I love you so much. And all of a sudden, I start singing another song. I said, Jesus loves you, Gideon. Gideon, Jesus loves you. And the power of God, his love, began to well up inside of me and tears began to roll down my cheeks because God's love is greater than any love you could ever think of on this earth. A grandma's love is pretty strong. A mama's love is pretty strong. But no comparison to the love of our Father in heaven. No comparison. And that's what we're singing about. I experience it overwhelming. And I pray that all God's people can experience that love of the Father. The love of God is greater far than tongue or pen can ever tell. It goes beyond the highest door and reaches to the lowest hell. The guilty pair bowed down with care. That's my words. God gave his son to win his erring child. He reconciled and pardoned from his sin. Oh, the love of God, God. how rich, how pure. <laughs> How marvelous and strong it shall forevermore do the saints and angels song. When hoary time shall pass away and earthly thrones and kingdoms fail, when men who refuse to pray and on rocks and hills and mountains call, God's love, so sure, shall still endure. Can't wait to see. All measureless and strong, redeeming grace to Adam's race, the saints and angels sang. Could we with ink the ocean fill and were the skies a parchment made were every stalk on earth a quill and every man a scribe by trade to write the love of god above would drain the ocean dry nor could the scroll Contain the whole, though stretched from sky to sky. The love of God, how rich, how pure, how measureless and strong, it shall for. 